projectile as the clock ticks down. Three, two, Three, two one. one. Game start. The finals of the RoboMasters 2022 DJI Lone Star Championship. Here we go. You'd have Century. Both, Both of centuries. the Centuries trading long range shots. This is a CV match. You can see the ammo counts for those Centuries that start at 500 in the top right and top left hand corner below their health bars. Oh That's my how goodness. many shots they're allowed to I believe A&M Century is into the 300s already. Now the 200s. Dropping fast. Not looking like it's having an effect on the health bar of either of the UW robots. UW holding the middle, getting those health packs to be able to use at their recovery zone later. A&M playing form. quite defensively, trying to play around their standard while their standard still has projectiles in its hopper. 200 left, that is still a the sizable amount. The hero for Texas uh, A&M getting extremely low here. Look at that, 20 health left to go approximately. They're gonna have to be careful. They might even die just to the sentry as they try and retreat. UW missing a little bit of health, but not nearly as much as that hero. That hero has got to get back to the health zone. Look at his health, Matt. Why is the Texas A&M hero out of that reload zone? Now the hero from UW going in for the kill. No robots dead yet. That hero is healing on the side of A&M. That was so close. That was extremely close. As we know, a first blood typically means a huge shift in the tide of battle. UW now pressing the attack. Going straight onto the blue side, trying to be very aggressive. As a kill comes across, first blood to the hero. And the second blood closely followed after and immediately engaging the sentry. That sentry is out of ammo. You can look in the top right hand corner. It has zero projectiles left. It fired all of them pseudo ineffectively too far across the map to do any damage. Yeah, Texas A&M may have fired too many of their sentry projectiles too early. It was impressive for sure, but it's gonna cost them in the later half of this game. That it will. Three minutes left is a long time for that sentry to not have any defense. They're going to need to be fighting the infantry combat now as they are strictly playing defense. That's gonna be another kill for Red Standard 3 and that's gonna be once again another kill. Whoa, Level a three big standard. missed volley by uh, the UW the standard. Not something we're used to seeing from the University of Washington. University there of Washington goes the base. trying to take 17, out the century and 15, the base at the same time. 13, 11, 900 health, 700 health, 500 health, 300, and there goes all Almost. the 180 health of Texas A&M's base. Looking like they're going to give Texas A&M at least the, a little bit of a chance. The war cry from Texas A&M side, it's winnable, they say. Not looking particularly winnable with 60 health left to go, 20 health, 15 health, 10 health, and zero. <laughs> and that's going to be a pretty decisive victory for the University of Washington. Doing damage to the century, but also just going to the base anyway. Typical of what we've seen their performance for the entirety of this competition. Cute, I'm looking. I feel cute. Uh, we got Go Wyatt from TAMU, but it's too late because we're in the next match. University of Washington and Texas A&M both going to their respective ammo depots trying to pick up the starting rounds. Sentry engaging. Projectiles from both sentries being launched all the way across the field, I do believe. Not both No, centuries. just the UW. This is a, a good thing for Texas A&M. toned down their range. It seems like the sentry will not be wasting projectiles all the way across the field as they were last match. And now we're going to see if it's able to engage as Red Sander 3 starts encroaching on enemy Whoa. territory. Level one battle and it happening is able in the to blue engage. corner. The sentry from Texas A&M helping out, but it's not enough. It's not enough. The standard from the University of Washington is, is winning this trade in a 3v1. Look University at it go. Washington, superb driving, able to get them out of danger as they take out both robots. That is a double kill, first blood and wow. extra kill. Looking like that hero is going to go and try to make short work of an overshield uh -oh. around the base. Uh oh. Hero having to go back and get more projectiles from the ammo depot. Purchase more, not put more into the hopper. University of Washington's hero being really smart there, playing around the sentry. Uh, AM sentry still has about half their ammunition left, and they were able to deal 
about 800 health damage, or excuse me, 800 damage to that shield, bringing it down to a 200 overshield on the base of Texas A&M. Oh, you can see that central, or the overshield help in the top right corner. Both of these sentries are double-barreled. A&M with a fixed double barrel firing in the same direction. UW with two independent heads able to fight two robots at once. Uh -oh. Looks like the hero might be having the same problem it did earlier with that wire from the 6020 getting shot out. Yep, 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 yep. That hero from Texas A&M not looking good. As you can see its view here. We'll see after it revives if it's able to perk up. Nope, he's look looking like at is. his own body. Well, you can see that battery is not low. And UW is just going to go try and to make short there work of goes the base. The health of the base for Texas A&M under a thousand, seven hundred, five hundred, three hundred. Count it down, UW. One hundred, and, that is and the that's the match game for UW. Wow. Two zero UW. Wow! 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 Sizable lead and extremely large advantage for UW as we have seen them dominate this field so far in the finals of the 2021 or 2020. Close. Sinking subs or not, it is going to be 2 1, and the robots are going to be going in this possibly final match if UW is the winner. Here we go. Sentry engaging at a little bit longer of a distance this time. Health not really going down that much, going down just slightly. On the hero the taking most standard. of that, though, wise from Texas A&M. Both sentries engaging each other at their respective armor depots. The action happening everywhere. Looks like that UW sentry is going to be trying to get the taken hero out. The hero is killed by the happen. sentry. UW sentry taking out the hero that was trying to go for a rush was not able to connect any shots. Standard was able to connect some. And it will be in the lead for now by 10 points of sentry damage, but that's not going to be the case for long. As yeah, take a picture of this moment, Aggie fans. AM is in the lead, but the skirmish is getting intense. I can't even hear myself talking. I'm on a big old microphone. There's so many projectiles flying around. All the health bars are dropping. The sentries are screaming. This is intense. Indeed, indeed. University of Washington has control of that central health point, picking up the blood bags. You can see that on the middle top of your screen. And they get Ooh, another kill onto the hero. hero of Texas A&M. I think that was the Sentry actually knocking that hero offline. Once again, very impressive for a fully autonomous robot to just be able to 100 zero a robot. The hero from Texas A&M seems a little unsure of how to contribute when they keep just getting absolutely obliterated by the Sentry. Their typical job so far in this competition has been to take out that Sentry. Well, huge level difference. Level three red standards, or red standard and level two hero on UW side versus the two level one AM robots. Huge Chat level saying difference. that the UW sentry could be described That's by saying this is a work of art. You could very well describe it as that. Work of art in engineering <laughs> and art as an art piece. Oh, Those check out this designs. top view though. You've got Texas A&M standard driven by Elizabeth dancing around her own hero, using it as a body block as she goes 2v1 versus level three standards on the side of UW. Another fantastic driving example as she's able to take them both on, chases one of them away, chases both of them away and doesn't die. What a fantastic, fantastic piece of gameplay right there. We just watched that goal just went straight down from 250 to 50. That means their level three standard is not gonna be messing around, loading completely up on projectiles, which they're going to effectively use on that Sentry. Sentry health falling for a &M. It's hard, you can't even see the, the standard from University of Washington. They're shooting the Sentry from so far away, but I can see the projectiles coming. Elizabeth able to chase away UW for now. That's Two minutes left to go. This is standard four. this is a, a lose it or win it moment for Texas A&M. That is exactly what it is, and that looks like that's going to be a kill for Texas A&M. That's very important. That gives level two to that standard and that hero on Texas A&M side. We've seen what Elizabeth has been able to do with a level three standard. We'll see if she can pull it off again. But against a level three standard from the number one standard in the competition, that's going to be tough in both what we've seen in the 3v3 and in the 1v1. It's winnable, it's winnable the war cry from Texas A&M. University of Washington 
absolutely dominant throughout the competition. They haven't lost many rounds at all, if any, I think. 10 HP left on the Sentry, barely alive, hanging on by a thread. Only one projectile is going to knock that offline, which it does. UW knocking the Sentry offline, not chewing through the base. Atypical of their strategy in the past. One minute to go. Texas A&M is going to have to defend their base and kill the Sentry. A tall task. And that oh. is going to be a, another kill coming across from University of Washington. As Red Sand Texas, 3 is a formidable opponent for Texas both robots. Texas A&M respawns and will not be able to make it back to the health and zone before he's taken double out Double kill, and time. this is going to look like it's going to be a finish of the 2022. Count it down with me, chat. 18, 16, 16 14, 14, 12, 12 10, 10, 8, 6, 6 4, 2, 2 0. 0. That is the win for the University of Washington. University of Washington 2022 RoboMaster Lone Star Competition Champions. Wow. Congratulations to that UW team. Look at them congratulating each other, hugging a giant inflatable shark. That defines the RoboMaster spirit better than anything else, I think.